guys happy friday to you time to do a little video chat about the qualities and the qualifications that you need to get rich really rich all right and um i'm just gonna break down for you i'll just wait a second until um, Facebook and YouTube notifies people that Dini is live and here to have the crack at you. It's a super Friday, remember your daily exercise. Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the community, have the crack with us. We're here to grow and learn. Um, I find that if you can build community, everyone thrives, everyone does better, and that's what I've done all my life, and I think it's helped me have a lot of su success, was to try and give as much value to other people as possible, and, uh, and then try and build communities around whatever you're doing. So this video is about the qualities and the qualifications that you need to get rich. Now when I went to school, I'll just start then, okay? And it, it's sort of difficult talking about this sort of stuff. It is difficult because people will hate you for it. You know, once you talk about money and if you're like, oh, I'm rich, look at me, I'm great. People hate you for that, okay? Whereas if you're super fit and you're like, look at me, I'm super fit, I want to help you get fit. People don't hate you as much for that, okay? You get you know, called a poser and all this other stuff. But when it comes to money, it's 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 really uh, it re it's really polarizing with people. I find. Um, but I don't care either way. <laughs> and that's what's allowed me to have a lot of success is that I don't care what other people think of me. I just do what I think is a good decision, and I normally try and give people as much value as I can, and that's always worked out really well. All right. But and I'm going to tell you, there's four things you need to get rich. Okay, if you want to be financially rich, if that's your goal. Now, you guys know there's much more to, to being rich. I think being rich in time is really the asset that we want to have. And, uh, and that's what I've built my life around for the last 15 years. And I'm fortunate that I have that now. You know, I can do what I want when I want. If I want to work, I'll work. If I don't want to work, I won't work. And that's what it... Jesus, that lad's gone a bit quick there on the old motorbike. Be careful, chap. Um, been there, done that. So there's four key rules, and I'm going to give them to you in a second but I'm going to frame it first so when I was in school it's all about you need qualifications to get rich you need you need to go and do this diploma or this XYZ whatever all right but from what I know now as a 40 year old with 20 years running business more probably because my first business when I, when I was feckin' seven years of age so what's that 33 years in business, 33! <laughs> uh, I can tell you that qualifications don't matter damn. I'm not gonna get you anywhere, all right? It's nothing to do with qualifications. And you were brainwashed into that. We were all brainwashed into that when we were kids. Because qualifications don't count. And uh, and in my, in my business, I've hired people who are amazing qualifications. And they were useless, okay? And then I've hired people who had zero qualifications, but had a hunger, okay? or a want to learn, or a drive, or a motivation. You know, this is the stuff where success comes from. And they've absolutely killed it. They've had no sales experience, and have taught them how to be amazing at selling, and they've crushed it. Better than people who've spent four years in college and never sold them. all right? So, qualifications are a myth, and a fad, and a fallacy, in my opinion, as an entrepreneur, and someone who's built seven-figure businesses. They're not all they're cracked up to be, and uh, a lot of people are brainwashed into going down that avenue. And a qualification, You'll always have a ceiling. What's the next qualification I need? Okay, back to college. Pay loads of money for the next thing. Waste loads of time for the next thing. Real world experience is where it's at. Okay, and building qualities. You know, it's, it's certain qualities you need to be successful. Okay. Um, the thing about a qualification is, what I've found is, people don't, people who have qualifications, and this is massive generic just, pooling everything so don't take this as I'm hating on your aunt I always talk in massive macro so it's huge picture okay but qualifications don't really give you a resourcefulness you know you can only do what you can do and if aunt is outside your box you can't do it. it has to go to a different department a different area but when you have no qualifications you have to learn to do everything well now you're resourceful nothing can stop you all right the second thing is anyone who wants to retire early all right you have to start investing that's how I was able to retire in my late 30s, or have the option to, was by investing for a decade. And I invested heavily into myself, I invested heavily into business, and then I invested into assets. But, 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 Lauren says I'm looking good, I'm rocking the shade. Sun's out, man, sun's out, guns out. James, what's crack? Are we still in the morning? No, we're not. 
good lunch time to you. Click comment and say hello. I had someone in my retire early club, okay, and I'm not hating on this person at all because I'm trying to teach people to learn from this. And in the retire early club, after the, when we go into the second module, we talk about cash flow statements, and it gives you a clear indication of your finance. And when this guy done his cash flow statement, he realised he was living above his means, and he needed to pull back, and he wasn't he's, he's not going to invest for a period of time because he didn't think he had the money to invest because he was living at his means or above his means. So what he's going to do, he's going to earn some money and then he's going to invest. Now if he had a staying in the course for another week, he would have realizing that this is, this is the trap. You don't earn your way and then start investing. You start investing when you're poor and you have nothing. This is how you get yourself financially free. I started investing when I lived in a caravan, lads. A mobile home, having a pot to piss in. And I started investing rather than renting an apartment or buying a house or anything like that, I started an investment pool while I had nothing. And that's, what's allowed, that's what allowed me to then have a, you know, a good portfolio that gave me an option to work or not work but in, in a decade's time. So it's a fallacy and just like the qualification myth, the, you've got to earn your way and then start investing. Become an investor when you're wealthy. It's like, it's so dumb. It's like, think about it. The way to get wealthy is to be an investor. So become an investor when you're poor. Okay, so what this guy do, should have doing was looking at his cash flow statement, realizing he was living above his means, and cutting his lifestyle back. He probably had too nice a car, probably had too nice a house, too big a house, whatever. Okay, too much liabilities, too much hobbies. You know, and you're like, well, I don't want to give up my hobbies, I don't want to give up my nice car. But that's fine! But you're probably not going to retire early unless you live below your means. This is just the basis of how it's done. I have four golden rules that I teach the guys in the retire early club. Okay, and the first rule is live below your means. And this is where everyone goes wrong. They live at their means, or they live above their means. And again, society brainwashes you into this. Because everyone's got a car like that. And everyone's got a house like that, all right? But no one can afford it. That's why they're mortgaged up to the hilt with debt to their eyeballs. Now I know the system screws you, so I'm not being hard on you. And don't be crying about this, all right? If I'm triggering you, don't be, oh, it's all right for you doing X, Y, Z. All right, I'm not trying to trick you. I know the system screws you, and assets are hyperinflating, and they're going away from you. But if you ever want to escape this rat race that you're sort of indoctrinated into, you follow the four golden rules to escape the rat race. It's as simple as that. You don't follow the four golden rules, you stay in the rat race. And the rat race is not all that bad. Do you know what I mean? We're pretty lucky. The rat race is like, you know, pretty good life in Ireland. We've got stable enough currency. We've got good government support. We've got dole. I, I used that before the period of my life when I was broken or broken back as on the dole. You know, so not all that bad. And you know, when you're 67 or whatever it is, by the time you get there, you're going to get a few quid off the state, hopefully, uh, if there's funds there to pay it. You know, so it's not all that bad. But if you want to escape the rat race, you're going to have to do stuff differently. And rule one is to live below your means. Not at your means, live way under your means. Okay, so that you can start investing, so you've money to invest. And that means you mightn't have as nice holidays, or any holidays, or you mightn't go out for as nice dinners, or any dinners, as your friends and peers do. Alright? But, if you're prepared to go through that for a period of time, then you can have all the nice dinners in the world. So for a period of my life, that's sort of what it was like. You know, I missed out on some stuff. I didn't go on the holidays, I didn't have the fancy stuff, I didn't even have a house, I was in a caravan. All right, but by deferring the gratification and living below my means, I was able then to build the asset portfolio, okay? So again, not hating on anybody, not judging anybody, just trying to give you the tips of, this is what i done, and it just works for anyone who's willing to do it, because I read a lot of investing books uh, when I lived in that caravan, because I had a lot of time, because I wasn't going out much, okay? So I read a lot of books, and there was a couple of key, rule, key rules that came up in all books, okay? And some, some have like the 10 rules, golden rules to retire early. Or some of them have the two things that you must do. Most of them was about four. So so I summarized them into my four golden rules. The four most important things. The first one is to live below your means. The second golden rule, okay. Now remember, if you're in retire early club, you get taught all this with loads of other stuff. But I'm going to give you this to you guys, just so you can try and understand this. The second golden rule, okay, is to accumulate assets. All right. Accumulate assets. Don't save cash. Well, save some cash. It's called your security bucket. We won't go into all that stuff. But accumulate assets because in the fiat standard we live in, those with assets become really wealthy and those without assets become really poor. 
they're not really poor, but they find it so hard, they get trapped in the rat race. So people who understand the fiat system, which means it's an ever-expanding money supply, and what that means is that anything that's scarce or desirable is going to up in value, all right? Not might go up in value, it will go up in value. Find the time, go back five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Find me a scarce asset that didn't go up in value over the time frame. Frame. It just is the way the system works. And this is why for the first half of my life I didn't get this and I thought being rich meant loads of money in the bank. And then when I became free, I realized, no, you'll never get rich with money in the bank, lad. <laughs> That's what poor people do, okay? Because they don't understand the system. Rich people don't have money in the bank, they have assets, okay? Because it's the assets, they're asset heavy. So that's rule two, accumulate assets. Rule three is to pay yourself first. Okay, so you prioritize your investing. Hit the like button if you like this content and make sure you subscribe or even share the stream if you're getting value. That'd be awesome. Okay, if you need any help with consulting to build your plan to retire early, check out my website. Uh, we do a done with you plan where I build you a plan to retire early. It costs you 300 quid. You won't even see a financial advisor for that and um, he'll be selling you products, whereas I'll just teach you how to build a plan so you can retire early and you'll have no fees and that will allow your plan to compound and it won't take you 40 years to retire, it might take a hell of a lot less, okay? But real tree is to pay yourself first. So what people generally do is when they take on debt and they've all these other obligations, they pay out all the obligations, all the liabilities, all the hobbies, all the want to do's, all the have to do's, all right? And then they see what's left over to invest. Never gonna escape the rat race that way because generally, there's not much to invest then at the end of it. So that's why once you set your plan up and you create your plan, okay, and that's why we spend a lot of time creating the plan, the priority of once your wages or your dole or whatever means come to you lands in your account, the first thing that goes into is your investment because you're investing in your future freedom. This is like your, nah, fuck this situation I'm in. This gets me out of it. So that's where my money goes first. All this other bullshit keeps me there. So I prioritize what gets me out of this lifestyle if I want the freedom. All right, remember, this looks really simple to do, but not easy. Most people will choose not to do it or not understand it, okay, or not have the, the uh, discipline to follow through on it. But you have to prioritize your future by paying yourself first. Even if people are screaming, you owe me this, daddy, da, 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 da. it's like, yeah, well, I'm probably never gonna be able to pay it off unless I actually become wealthy. And the only way I become wealthy is by investing. So pay yourself first. I'm real for, of the crypto within you retire early club these are called our four golden rules okay we follow these to the letter you retire early it's that simple okay reinvest for compounded bro growth so because markets are volatile and markets go up and down and we un but we understand that markets trend up over time they always do they always have they always will as long as we're on a fiat standard okay if we ever get to a bitcoin standard maybe that rule will break but we're not on a bitcoin standard yet we're on a fiat standard so markets go up so we reinvest for compounded growth because we understand that markets go through downturns and everybody knows, buy low, sell high, but no one does it, okay? But if you reinvest through compounded growth, you're able to pick up assets cheaper when they're on downturns, when there's crashes, when there's market corrections, okay? When there's bear markets, exactly what we're in now. That's why I'm really excited about this market because this is the market where you can create a massive portfolio for your future in a very short period of time, I believe. A couple of short years, people will be looking back at this and be saying, Dinny, you're so greedy, why didn't you tell anyone? But I'll be able to go, look at this video, and this video, and this video, and this video. I was live nearly every day telling yous, buy low. Bear markets are where you find your freedom. Bear markets are where you create the wealth, okay? And a bear market in digital asset space, that's generational wealth, that's the opportunity you have, okay? So no one will be able to say, Dinny never told us, because Dinny's on every other day, trying to give some value to you guys, and trying to help yous to do what I did, because life is short, all right? And I remember being trapped in the poverty. And you know, you had to make decisions of what you could buy and what you couldn't buy. And it's not all about money, but for me it's when I'm buying something now and it's just like, I'll cost whatever. And it's just like, yeah, whatever, you're giving them money. But still in my mind, I do a little smirk or a smile because I'm like, I remember when this wasn't the case, when I had to feckin' think so hard about anything and everything I was gonna spend my money on. And now I can just willy nilly just dump cash on something if I'm not even sure if I want it or not. Okay, and I know, and, and that's not the best thing. The best thing is the freedom and the time, you know, to be more time, have more time outside. And what a lot of people say to me is, but Dini, aren't you just a personal trainer? And this is what I say to people, yeah, I'm just a personal trainer, like a qualified personal trainer. And I managed to understand the system and exit the rat, the rat race. Or I'm a, uh, 
Uh, I'm a qualified apprentice, but I'm not like some super smart academic. So that's why I believe anyone can do it. Anyway, I'm going to have to go because I think my client has just arrived for a bit of consulting. Have a good day, Dinny out. If you need any help, check out our consulting at retireearlyclub on CryptoDinny.com. I'm going here now to help a lady build a plan to retire early.